we have a code on it. And we're back. Okay, now you can read it. No, no, no. That's Did not written. Right. Say what? Since now we return to the cafe, scared of my substance and my own survival instinct. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy woman, if only I could tell you how she plans her actions, I could deal with her fairly easily. How troubling. I, I'm not planning anything. Are you sure? You're so juicy. Oh, yeah. ah. I heard it in my recording since I found my whole book. Alright, that's just what I do. What do I do? Mm -hmm. Mr. Nelikin, Dr. Ramiel, I hadn't expected to see them together. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, nothing peculiar, nothing at all. Yeah, this is like the whole... Side of his shoe. That's what we, we always We didn't do. have that before. We didn't have that before. You already said last time you did, you didn't. Are you sure? I'm sure. So we have side, side sure. with shoe. Yes. Side with shoe. I could have sworn that's what we always did. <laughs> no, you always did the other thing. The other thing? <laughs> you should look more closely, Mr. Nanaki. Uh, hello, Juicy. See, this is what he always says. Even a student disrespect you, pathetic. No, no, no. Otherwise, you said, like the teacher, like the student. Ah, okay, that is different. I told you, you. I should really learn to trust you. Trust, trust me. Um, so I gave you my card earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. <laughs> Don't mind the liquid coming out of it. it. It's no, not, not as good as the candy cane. <laughs> yes, the room. Minty. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Yeah, see, he says here, like teacher, like pupil. He says that too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very Good sure. Matter. I'm 100% sure. We cited with Kazuaki the two times before. I don't think so. I'm sure. I bet you 50 jelly points. Ooh, jelly. Mm -hmm. that, that would actually put me up where I need to be. Notice if we need one hundred. What's that? That is if we need one hundred. I thought that's what I needed. Yes, then I still need to decide on what to do with him. Uh, <laughs> uh, it'll just be forever. Okay. Um. I feel you. What do you want? Why are you? No, so I like him. Didn't he come yet? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you concerned with who's coming in my office? Mr. Sakazaki won't be here today. Or tomorrow. Or the day afterward. <laughs> um, what do you... He's been absent yeah. for almost a month now. Did you transfer? I never realized. Time flies. Did something happen? Who knows? He never was a very good student. No one's surprised to see him playing hooky again. Ho, ho, ho. You know something about it, don't you, sir? Did he transfer? Yes or no? Did you eat him? <laughs> Me? Of course not. I only have... I know only what happens within this little room. And I'll never kiss and tell. <laughs> That's someone alluring, alluring, slightly evil smile on his face. Has me all I need to know. He had a hand in this. Or this is a, wing. This is just like that. <laughs> you do know something, I have thought that. Yes. Sleeping pills. Huh? What are you standing around for? You're his replacement now. Count our supplies and mark down anything we're low on. I don't think that counts as an explanation. You just skipped school and never thought of him as that type. 
And he hasn't even called me. That's so rude. Oh, I've got a question for you, Bobbit. Why did you decide to become a student here? Oh, wait, I mean, I why did you decide too. to be my assistant, Miss Juicy? Because, um, I felt like it. I, I love your wonderful accent. I, I, I like you, sir. Ooh, is that so? Do I make you horny? <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence, I make myself horny all the time. Well, I think I'm starting to like you too, though I can't say I thought much of you at first. <gasps> he likes me? Is that good or bad? Why are you asking me? I don't know. It's good, my heart's racing, but I can't tell if it's enough or fear for my life. <laughs> 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 I wonder where you here went. He's under my desk. Mm -hmm, yes. Whoa, I love it down here. So warm and toasty. Finals back. And juicy. Mm. Yeah. Oh. You Ooh. ranked top of the year this time. Well done. That means you get to come home with yeah. me and be on top. <laughs> what? Mm, she beat you by two points, Shiragane. Oh, well. Oh, actually, he's gurring. <laughs> Gur. <laughs> Gur. That feels clear and that has a mean gun. How nostalgic. <laughs> anyway, my hard work paid off. Yippee. 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 Mm, yeah. Dancing around. Today is Christmas, but Christmas is too main to be right, so I'm not celebrating. Which is to say, my family's shouldn't be just. Who does someone at the door? Who could it be? <laughs> Pelican? <laughs> Pelican, howdy! Pelican Express here with a package for a Miss Juicy Woman. Sign here, please. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you are a Juicy Woman. Thank you, little girl. Have a good one. I wonder what it is. I don't think I've opened anything with it. It's an issue of Playbird magazine. It's from Dr. Ivamina. Oh, that's so sweet. What is even a letter? Mmm, it's a hyperdermic mm. deal. I oh, greatly appreciate your hard work in the infirmary. I hope this suits your taste. Merry Christmas. You are me sure. What are you doing? He has really nice handwriting. Let's see what's in here. There's a big box and a small one. Inside the small box is a quill cool pen. Made from the fallen enemies. Beautiful. A real white bird feather. Is he really giving this to me? It looks pricey. <laughs> is that what happened to the other guy? Oh, that's so sweet. The big one is ahead of the pipe. Is, the big one is. Huh? Oh. It looks like. A roast chicken, or maybe a turkey, I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's still warm, you must have had it delivered in a hurry. Thank you, Doctor. Mm, yeah. That's kind of twisted. <laughs> bird, deliver a bird for your meal? <laughs> kind of. I'll go visit the shrine. <laughs> <laughs> woman. Woman. Uh, happy New Year, woman. <laughs> Here's to many happy returns, right? I'm working here. Yeah, yeah, we know. Amulet for. Mm. In conquest. Stone school. I think the school is better, but. Yes, I'm here all day. Hmm. Well, we were going to go to lunch, but you suck. Okay. <laughs> no. Go punch yourself. I'm no, not going to do it this time. Juicy. <laughs> Seems around the chicken of ill omen. Yeah, you get 
Bork's Blessing. Hmm. Okay, that's weird. Whatever it is. No idea. Hmm? Okay. You got a better one than I did. It'll be a good year for you. A juicy year. Oh, <laughs> year of the... Thank you, sir. Wait, isn't that... Wait, isn't that? That's mine. Doctor! Oh. Standing at an array from the crowd, I can see his red ears. Oh. His red eyes. Oh. The patrons have winter plumage. Looks a little fluffy and unusual. I wouldn't have expected to see you celebrating the new year here, sir. Celebrating? Hardly. I'm looking for a new victim. I have no interest in God's temples or celebrations. I'm a man of science. Me and Bill Nye. Yep, that's what I thought. So, wait, what's he doing here? So, what are you here for, sir? I just You're not looking here to pee, are you? <laughs> oh, I'm here to take a pee. <laughs> that's it. Right on the shrine. But there's nothing else here. Why, why would you be <laughs> yeah, crying to be aimlessly wander the city in the morning. No, I was just wondering. Such a crowd all at once, and as you said, there's nothing else around here. Who would notice if one or two were to disappear? <laughs> I'm not being creepy, <laughs> no. <laughs> now then, goodbye, Miss. Bye-bye. Mmm, juicy. Happy New Year, creepy doctor man. Mm-hmm. Ed Zachary. Mm, happy New Year. I hope you all had good vacations. I slept on my pillow. And skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead. Still late, I think I'll go here before I head home. Tomorrow's like good times. Huh. Time to buy some beans. Skip. All right. Are we going to go for a racing blend again, or do we want no, to go? No, no. Bit of like beans. Really? Yeah. They're going to be perfect. Yeah, they're, they're like coffee without coffee. That you know for every working man, that's the right choice. Are you are you messing with me? <laughs> no, seriously. I thought it was all about quality. Nope. Oh. All right. they, just because they are more expensive doesn't mean they're better quality. Now that that's the noblest way to look at it, but it doesn't have to be. I don't understand, but I will do as you say. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, what you said. <laughs> I do not recall summoning you today. What is it? Mm -hmm. Are you eating? What's in your mouth? You can speak the brains with a stack of papers. <laughs> mm, is that beef? <laughs> he didn't even look at me from his voice. He wants me to. Do you know what day it is, Doctor? February 3rd. Now piss off. He glances at the calendar above his desk and then returns to his papers. The anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Whoa. Really? Of course, test two babies have been successfully grown before then. So what did you want? Were you hoping I could transfer you and Avi and Ovum? No. I'd have to be really, uh, really sad to be fantasizing about bird eggs in the school with no memory. It's legitimate time, sir. You get things to buy your life. So, so here. You're giving these to me? They're yours. They look like normal beans. It's the fact that I'm giving them to you today that matters. Your words are meaningless babble. Or perhaps I simply cannot perceive their true meaning. Very well, I'll take them. Put them there and leave. Leave me at once. I don't like you. You smell like beans. Okay. No romantic human dance for me. Well, probably for Romans, but it was probably for the January. 
Ah, uh, he didn't like the bitter beans. No, he he, uh, he always makes them. That's actually the best straw and soy. Ah, do you think? Hmm. Back to the infirmary. The doctor's not here yet. The infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. The orderly rows of medicines, the neatly made be. Huh. Something stings in here. It's coming from the back behind the curtain. Somebody beefed. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, I've just got a bit of the squirts. Don't mind me. I'm not going to go. Uh oh, I think we're going to die. The sheets are stained brilliant red. Somebody was eating a jelly sandwich. <laughs> At the foot of the bed sits a fresh bin. It's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers in the bottom. Somebody was making a chicken sandwich. The blood on the bed is still wet. Oh boy. This is... The students who disappeared after going to the infirmary. You, yeah. That mysterious smile the doctor gave when I asked him. I have to pick it out of you. I have to tell so. I need to report it to the, to the police. I, I, I need to get a ring. I need to get out of here before he... You're early today, Mrs. Juicy. Oh, I was going to use you like a juice box. <laughs> Woman! You're rather pale. Here, why don't you lie down in these bloody rags? Don't worry. Doctor, just blood. No, oh, forgive me. Oh, I just finished dismembering another student and hadn't cleaned up yet. Please pay it, no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He, he... The door's locked. The door's locked. Going home so soon? It won't open. Indeed, it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. The doctor, you. This is all so sad. You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments? Do you really need to ask that? After all, you even helped me. Help? Help you? I would never. Oh, tell me you've already forgotten. Just at the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. You brought back the ID card on one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out, then. We can't leave things like that lying around now, can we? Yuya, what did you do to Yuya? I can't oh. remember. <laughs> it was kind of a douche. I didn't think you'd care. I thought you'd figure that out already. I made him my bitch. He's in here, Miss Juicy. In here. The doctor reaches out and lightly throws my stomach. Ah, <laughs> you ate you, yeah. <laughs> Good. The big rotting ones. It looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. It's still warm. You must have had it delivered in a hurry. <laughs> you ate you, yeah. <laughs> of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body. So we don't really know exactly where he is now, do we? That you can't be... No. No. How did he taste? Was he greasy? <laughs> I was worried he might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That, that was you, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha ha. That's a beautiful face, Miss Juicy. I've longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. I, I, I just had had 
to come for my family, Judy. Oh, you wanted to come for me. Oh, baby. Was that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No, I, I, I want to say, but my tongue's like leaf. Maybe it's true, maybe somewhere deep inside, I love the doctor. <laughs> no, those murderous ways. Well, I'm afraid that I have room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your earnestness. Therefore, I will teabag you before I kill you. So I put much thought into how I might reward you with teabagging and me nuts in your mouth. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pity. I think I want to keep you by my side. Forever. He's going to kill me and now he's going to kill me. So why? why can't I move? Why can't I just punt him out the window because he's a tiny little bird? <laughs> yeah, that is what I'm trying to say. So, so please don't ruin the bird. <laughs> and so, this is what I decided. Oh, I shall preserve only your head. We'll be easily stored. We'll put it in a glass jar. Of course, I can't leave such a rare sample slip by, so... Or we'll remove your brain. Why can't I pull a mask up from his... This red stare piercing my soul. <laughs> from the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. I'll taste every inch of your body, every speck, every morsel, every bit. Don't worry, you won't go to waste. I'll make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Suddenly has a cleaver in his left wing. <laughs> You've chased after death's allure most diligently. I well, suppose you're too afraid to speak now? For a moment, my wisdom shifts to the ceiling, the wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly. The world just soaked red. And so my life came to an end. We have an emergency report for the Pigeonation Project. The researcher we dispatched to school has stolen a high classified sample and fled. He took sample HB87, the human head. We have not confirmed that he is armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please help yourselves. The cheese Danish are rather good. <laughs> huh. Have these brutes no mercy? Though no, I did agree to this from the start. Ho ho. We seem to be in a bit of a pickle, Miss Juicy. They suddenly asked that I'll give you to them. To think that until now, they considered you worthless. I was the one who preserved you so beautifully. You like the jar, do you not? You know of the mere exposure effect. States that one can... It states that that one can become attract... Oh, okay. It states that that one... Wow, that's worded word. States that one can become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with them. Yeah, they, they botch that. A conundrum indeed. Or think perhaps I have felt new emotions since I acquired you. I think my cold dead heart might have beat it a couple of times, but then it stopped again, so I'm not really that worried. <laughs> Yet we have but little time together off here, so I might as well take advantage of your preserved perfect little mouth. I do not like the idea of handling you over to them, so I think I'll break you once more. I like breaking people. Of course, I do not wish to force you into a double suicide. I shall break this glass only after confirming your feelings. You loved me, did you not? Yes, ah, yes, yes, and yes. Does it really <laughs> matter? Uh... <laughs> it's important. It's an important decision. I mean, 
they're the same. Does it really matter what you pick? It doesn't matter. Okay, we'll say yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, I am glad. So glad I got to kill you. Good night, Miss Juicy. Smash. RS-17, contact in the water, left side, weapons free, take him down! Bang. Oh, more kidney. <laughs> he shot me in the kidney. Oh, I have another one, I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'll be in the sequel. Okay. Well, stick you there. Uh, was that the good ending? Seriously? Yeah, the one is just cut short. Of the happy couple. That's what we wish <laughs> died. The happy insane couple. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Achievement unlocked. Into your name. Skip ahead. <laughs> ah, well, wasn't that just a lovely, romantic, psychotic twist on the whole thing? Wow. I love the shoe ending. <laughs> you do? Why? What is it about that? Because it's so and romantic. Really? And you have that nice line of, I don't know if it's a laugh, but fear for my life. 